I'd like to uh, start off by saying the team that we just beat played their hearts out, and that's a much better team than their record, and I think we're a much better team than their record. And uh, This is obviously one of the great you know, venues to come play at. And, uh, wow, that was just a great football game. Uh, two teams that were just fighting, so I never want to uh, disrespect our opponent, and I thought they played hard. All right, guys, uh, wow, I mean, that was one of the great efforts. Uh, wasn't as pretty as you know we had a lead and then but you're facing a bunch of guys when you play in the NFL that receiver to have Janoris keep him somewhat under control was a heck of a job and he played him basically the whole day uh, I want to say he had 40 some yards receiving and, and I, I, I've not seen anyone better than that it was great to see uh, Chris Rainey back it was great to see Demp still was not 100% but to see him battle like he did and the, uh, the one guy I want to mention I thought did phenomenal was Johnny Brantley uh, you know, just his last name is what it's uh, rather appropriate to have his uncle being into the Florida Georgia Hall of Fame. Uh, you can tell where that kid's from. I mean, he's a tough nut, and he got hit. I mean, he got whacked a few times today, stood up, made some plays to help us win that game. And uh, there's a bunch of guys that I can mention, but uh, I really want to make a, a big deal out of uh, Johnny, what he did. And then obviously Trey Burton. Uh, oh, after he hit that field goal? It was Chaz Henry hitting the damn field goal. Think about that. Yeah. It's not easy. No, I think it's whatever. Really, I don't. I didn't realize I did that. It was just. Uh, it was a good moment. And we had thought we were going to have Caleb. Caleb came out Wednesday and kicked beautifully. And then his his back. You know, he could have pushed it, but we're not going to do that. It could have hurt him for a long time if he hurts it more. So he had a. Uh, on Thursday, Chaz came out and hit every field goal. We always go right, left, right, left, right, left, and he went right up to the 42 yards. I think it was seven for seven. So I thought he did that. That's when you start talking about short, <coughs> short fields and scoring whatever we scored. 30 was it 34 points? 34 points. A lot of that was where the defense handled the ball in the offense. But that's football. That's the way it is. And we've been doing the opposite. We've been giving other teams short fields, and that's uh, it's been awful. We have to find that edge. Florida's always had the edge. In 05, we really didn't have one. And then 06, we had some edge when we recruited Percy, and then Dallas came on, and and then uh, uh, then obviously Tim went crazy in 07. 08, you had a bundle of them. I mean, there's edges all over the place. And then 09, you know, Deontay Thompson, I thought, really came in and made a huge play down on that. It was third and forever going in. So we're just still trying to find what that edge is. You can't play offensive football without it. And you can sit and run between the tackles. You can run perimeter plays or you can throw and if you don't have that edge and it's just a mess and that's kind of what we're where we've been. So we're looking at tempo as an edge, multiple quarterbacks as an edge and development of players. You know when we get that speed back for any depths that helps us a lot as well.